It is a day of of reckoning for NYCHA. Aixa Torres has been the president of the Smith Houses for 13 years on the Lower East Side. Torres is one of 20 NYCHA residents part of a resident audit committee assembled by New York City's comptroller, Brad Lander. The residents have no say. These tenant leaders are not surprised by the findings of a new audit, resident-led in partnership with comptroller Lander. They've held town halls and surveyed more than a thousand NYCHA residents across the city. 46% of the time, nearly half the time, the purchase orders lacked evidence that any work was performed. PIX11 News for eight years has told your stories of no heat and your frustration of closed repair tickets with no action. I've been doing this every, night, every hour. Taft House's tenant president, Beverly McFarlane, has called PIX11 many times to help Help shed lights on problems at her East Harlem development. She's on the Comptroller's Committee and says the system has to change. The contractors are not accountable at all. They have not been accountable. I have residents, I stay up to two, three o'clock in the morning taking complaints. Another finding in the audit, even more disturbing. 93% of the tenants surveyed said they were never given an opportunity to give feedback on repairs in their unit. Lander proposes a new resident feedback tool called Repairs, Reviews, and Resident Voices. He calls it a Yelp for repairs in NYCHA that would generate vendor scorecards to hold contractors accountable. We have too often just failed to listen to the voices of NYCHA residents. A NYCHA spokesperson tells PIX11 News, quote, since the 2019 HUD agreement, NYCHA has worked tirelessly to transform its compliance, management, and operations infrastructure and has made significant progress in the face of an unprecedented $80 billion capital need. 